Okay guys, so this is just a typical um, balance or a scale that we would use in the Ken Lab. Um, I have a couple different ones, but this is my favorite one to use. Um, a lot of you guys have probably never used a scale that is this uh, precise or also this breakable, <laughs> okay? Um, so I press this button right here to turn it on and you can see that it's already reading 0 0.015 grams. But if I look inside at the plate, there's nothing on there. Um, so that kind of poses an issue. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna zero it out so that it's reading zero things on the scale as zero grams, okay? And no matter how good your scale is, it'll likely always need to be calibrated in this way before you use it. Um, so another consideration that you wanna use um, when using these kinds of scales is that they have doors on them. And this one's kind of nice because it has a door on both sides, but it also has a door that I can slide open and shut on top. Now, if you zero your scale and try and take your measurement with any of these doors open, it can affect um, the accuracy of the scale. So when you're zeroing it out and when you're actually measuring something, you wanna make sure all the doors are shut and then you just wanna tear your scale. And so my button on this scale right here is T for tear. I actually have two different ones. I'm just gonna hit it. And it now says that it's 0, 0.000 grams and I'm free to go through and weigh something. Now I'm weighing um, our little candle for the candle lab. So I'm gonna open the door, put it on our little circular weighing portion sorry there's probably better vocab for that and then i'm going to shut the door wait for the scale to kind of get a constant reading and this one's really good it doesn't fluctuate and that's why i like it so much but i could potentially um give this measurement to the nearest thousandth of a gram now this last digit right here is what we would call an uncertain digit for sure because it could be 9.7865. That's just rounding up to that last digit of a seven. Um, so for this reason, when we use a scale, we always want one that goes one digit at least past uh, the digit that we want, okay? So for this one, it would probably be best to not use it for measurements that require more specific than a hundredth of a gram or this decimal place right here, okay? So if I were to measure this out to the nearest hundredth of a gram, it would be 9.7, and then this eight would round up to a nine. So it would be 9.79 grams that I would record on my paper.